Another article which dealt with um, public works equipment, which is article number DPW purchases article 22. 22. And I'm going to ask the public works director because he was asked to review that and come in with a recommendation to the board as to whether it remains or he wishes to have changes. Come on up, Mark doesn't bite. Good evening. Um, Article 22. I uh, redrafted it last week. Um, it had some holdover language from last year, uh, which we got done. Or it's now been written to uh, include just one three-quarter ton truck. That's the weight of the vehicle with plow. Before it, it said plow and wing. Uh, this is a much. This is a smaller um, truck. Uh, Two 35-pound gross vehicle weight dump trucks. Uh, I also included the, the sand spreader. Um, that is something we normally, when we buy this truck, we did include. It wasn't the package, but I, I spelled it out more clearly here. And one solid waste yard truck. That's probably been the major um, addition to this particular uh, warrant article. The reason for that is the yard horse that we have, we got it for, I don't know, $4,000 about two years ago. It's cost us that in repairs. Um, when we try and hitch on to um, some of our full solid waste trailers and then move them, it's actually uncoupled. And in two instances, we folded the legs up on a fully loaded trailer. And it's cost us $2,000 to get the trailer fixed. My biggest concern with that type of incident is that someone could get injured and it would be a one-time permanent injury. Um, very much uh, cognizant of that because in both instances um, there were staff uh, either attempting to uncouple or couple the trailer to the tractor at the time when it shifted and um, only by the grace of God were they not in injured. Um, so those are the four. The uh, amount it was increased by was the 60,000 even. Um, we went online, did some research, um, conversations with Seabrook Truck in the past. Uh, they regularly get these in, refurbish them, um, so it, hopefully it would be a used one, but a low mileage one, uh, and 60,000 would cover it. And so we looked at what we'd, to come up with the 434 figure, it's based upon 30,000 for the three quarter ton, and what we paid for the two trucks that we got this year under the bid process and that as I say 60,000 for the yard horse what we call the solid waste yard truck and I think it's important on the yard horse to understand the other reason uh, and of much importance is to have the hy hydraulic hoses uh, right now we do not have the capability of being able to move those trailers in and out when they need to be emptied or um, something is you know goes on and you know the gears have to be switched and we've had some issues with them in the past, and we have to wait for the guy that does all the hauling to do them, and he has to stop what he's doing to do it. Uh, we also had the fire uh, up at the transfer station, and you know we weren't able to pull the uh, the ram, for lack of better words, out. Was, so the fire was actually in the trailer with the yard horse that we have. We don't it doesn't have the hydraulic capacity to operate the the ram. So when the fire department got there, uh, we had no way to expose the trash for them to put it out. They literally cut a hole. They were pleased to do it. They cut a hole right in the side of our, our trailer, and um, and then we they filled the trailer with foam. Um, I was concerned that because the foam is slippery and they were on the top of the trailer, that it put them at risk too. Um, the new ones in the future when we do order them will have a fire um, connection to the trailers themselves. But uh, that is one of the reasons why we're looking for uh, a yard horse with full hydraulic capability. Questions from the board? Regina? Um, so, these four, there are four vehicles here that you're purchasing? Right. The first three were the ones that were in the CIP. Okay. From, from prior years forward. Okay. And the fourth one? is the yard horse that we've determined okay. is the safety issue uh, 
in the operation of the transfer station. You have a total figure? 434,000. And the one ton uh, that we're requesting is actually replacing uh, number 18 that has been sidelined unfixable uh, from last year. And so three quarter ton. The three quarter ton, excuse me. It's okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Not a wish list? No. The, um, there again, um, CIP put together a number of years ago. Uh, the, the only thing that was not included in the CIP was the, um, the yard horse. It's 60000 um, But as I, I've stated to my staff repeatedly and, and hopefully to others, if there's safety issues that come up within our operation, um, I'll cut and scrimp somewhere else to address a safety issue. So if it comes to safety boots, safety jackets, uh, welding gear this year, um, uh, the lift in the in the bay, the vehicle lift in the bay that only had a 9,000 pound capacity, all these things, I think it's incumbent upon me as the director to address for the safety of the, of the employees that we have. So, and this is one of those things, the yard horse is a safety issue. Thank you. Any questions, Rick? Phil? Negative, sir. So we need a, a motion to accept or reject, I guess. Accept or reject. I'll make a motion that we accept the award article. Make motion to accept the article 22 as written for the amount of 434 for the said vehicles. Is there a second? A second it. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you.